SMT Nation, we are back. And we're finishing up some testing here with the AT&T network. We're going to be downloading the Among Us game. We're going to be speed testing the network. We're going to do it over the 4G LTE network. We're going to do it over the 5G network, the 5G plus their C-band and DoD combination. Uh, we're going to be doing the testing and the downloading on the Samsung Galaxy S24 on, an, on a business account. Highest priority, highest QCI. I don't have the turbo add-on. Just want to be clear about that. Uh, but other than that, we're pretty much uh, high priority and everything. So this is going to take place on the weekend. It's a Sunday. It's about 7 in the p.m. So I wouldn't call it peak, uh, but definitely probably some usage on the network for sure. All right, so now that we got all that out of the way, we're going to start by first testing the 5G side of the network. All right, so let's go ahead and open the Ookla speed test application. And let's go ahead and run our baseline speed testing on the 5G network. I actually just switched the sims. So, you know, the first test might be kind of slow or something like that. Uh, and because of that, I want to just do the first couple of tests, maybe two or three, uh, just to make sure we get an accurate read on the network. And then once we get our baseline measure, we can go over to the Google Play Store, do the downloading of the app, and let's see what happens. All right, let's check out our results, people. All right, these would be the top three tests right here. So we've got 314 down and 365 and 320. So pretty steady in the 300s. That gives us a, a pretty good baseline on what we should expect from the download. The game itself is probably, mm, I think it was like 470 or 480 megabytes. Uh, so it's, you know, that kind of gives us an understanding of, you know, about a half a gig or something. All right, let's take a look at the download time. We're going to time it right here with the Pixel stopwatch and downloading here on the Samsung Galaxy S24. I'm going to go ahead and hit install and ask if you want to do it over any network, which is what you want to do to allow it. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And once I see it start downloading, then we're going to be turning on the stopwatch and we'll see how long it takes. All right, there we have it. Came in at just a hair under 22 seconds to download or the 5G Plus network. All right, this is T-Mobile's bestest and fastest connection, not named millimeter wave, right? All right, so that's 5G Plus. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and run our baseline testing over on the LTE side of things. In order to do that, I got to put the phone in LTE mode, right? And I'm going to go into the SIM, and you can go into the service mode and do all these uh connections here i'm going to go ahead and just clear all bands that pulls everything off the settings i'm going to go to the um let's go to the main we got to go to lt band preference and we're going to select lt all once i've got all those kind of activated and whatever the lt configurations are uh, they'll go ahead and aggregate those channels we'll apply band configuration and then there we have it right there you'll see the lt has been turned on all right so no 5g involved anymore all right let's go ahead and get to our speed testing and then we'll go ahead and get to the downloading of the app i do have to make sure that i uninstall the app first all right it's gone and then we're going to do the speed testing here and let's go ahead and run it lte at&t All right, so we got our results here. Uh, on the low side, we're down at about 115 megabits down. And then for the upside, we're at like 142. So there's definitely a throughput difference between the 5G Plus and the LT network. I did see LT Plus, which tells me there's multiple carriers or channels aggregating together. You saw that, I don't know if you noticed it, the LT Plus went away on the uplink. So that's an interesting conundrum. Uh, that might explain the kind of weak uploads we're seeing here from AT&T. Uh, we'll see when things get swapped out from Nokia to Ericsson on the brand side, if that changes over here. But anyways, it's definitely slower. You know, you're getting about half the throughput or so. Uh, let's go ahead and test the app download test and, and see what we get with respect to timing. So the 5G plus side was pretty fast, 21, 22 seconds. Let's go ahead and clear that. 
and we're going to download the app again this time over LTE and let's see what the outcome is. All right, there we have it. Just a shade under 36 seconds to download Among Us on the LTE network. So uh, to kind of sum it all up and discuss what we saw, the LTE network downloaded the game at a much slower rate. It took um, basically, I don't know, just a, just a shade under half the time to download it over 5G+. The LTE network, definitely not as fast. We saw that on the speed test, and it definitely manifested itself in the actual download. Very, very different outcome than we saw from T-Mobile, uh, where the LTE network download and the 5G network download were basically identical, even though the 5G download speeds were uh, astronomically higher. Uh, the Verizon and the AT&T tests are more in alignment right, with their actual throughput. So their speed test results in, in terms of those speeds were reflective of the actual usage. Uh, so we learned a little something here about AT&T. When you have the speed, you download fast. When you don't have it as much, it downloads much slower. Um, so that's kind of the outcome. Uh, and my conclusions is if you have uh, AT&T, you definitely want to be on the 5G network if you can be. The download you know, speeds or whatever definitely equate to a better, more consistent experience. Saving time on downloads and file transfers seems pretty much like a slam dunk uh and and i would say that you know getting a 5g phone if you don't have one already or upgrading to one that's more modern and gets you all their cellular connections uh, the network has been getting upgraded in a lot of places and it's very very different than it was even just a few years ago so it's definitely worth an investment to get a better experience a more consistent one and a faster one uh, making you more productive allowing you to do more things uh, with their network. I mean, you are paying for it, right? So you might as well get the network experience that you deserve. Uh, but tell me what you guys think of the outcome and definitely do your own testing and tell me if you're able to reproduce these same results or if you get something different. This is just one particular use case and test at one particular location, not reflective of everywhere and everybody <laughs> what they see. It's just mine where I currently am. All right, so that's your AT&T testing, but drop me a line and let me know what you guys think about this. Uh, please do like and share this video, subscribe if you're new here, and turn on that bell notifications icon to never miss an upload from the SMT. These types of videos, and you uh, want to show that appreciation, ways to support us are in the description. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Peace. SMT Nation, it is time for me to introduce to you Aura. Give you guys an incredible suite of cybersecurity protections to keep everything that you do online safe keeping you safe from identity theft, scams, online threats, including protections for your entire family. They offer a pretty much a worry-free trial period. Obviously, the pricing is very competitive, starting at $12 per month. They've got one simple and easy app for you to use. They've got incredible features, a million dollars in coverage, 24-7 expert fraud support, transparent pricing, the money-back guarantee at 60 days with a free trial, no strings attached. So with the odds of falling victim to an online crime being 1 in 4, this would change everything. Really should check them out. The financial fraud protection is worth its weight in gold. Help keep your kids protected within boundaries that you set forth for them. Proven to be the fastest, most reliable fraud alert system. And it's as simple as choosing your plan, simply setting up how you're enrolled, and then getting notified for all the things that it's monitoring. Start your free trial now. Use our link. It's down in the description, and it's also here on the screen. Aura.com forward slash need. You guys can click the URL, it's hyperlinked down in the description. And again, it's up here on the screen, aura.com forward slash need. Protect yourself from all the digital threats that's out there in the world.